Good morning. Welcome again to Awakenings. I hope you're having a great morning or evening as the case may be. I want to talk to you today about investment strategy. Surprise? Yes. I know that we hear a lot of this about our financial future and health, but I want to tell you and talk with you about an investment strategy in your life for your spiritual health. Let's listen first to what Jesus told his disciples as he explains the parable of the farmer and the seeds. Matthew 13. Listen, here is the meaning of the story of the farmer. People hear the message about the kingdom of heaven, but they do not understand it. And the evil one comes and steals what was planted in their hearts. Those people, people are like seeds planted on a path. Others receive the seed that fell on rocky places. They are those who hear the message and receive it at once with joy. But they have no roots. They last only a short time and fall quickly away when trouble or suffering comes because of the message. Others receive the seed that fell among the thorns. They are those who hear the message. But then the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth and the desires for other things choke seed that was planted and it keeps them from producing any fruit in their lives but still others receive the seed that falls on good soil and they are those who hear the message they understand it they produce a crop of a hundred sixty even thirty more times than the farmer even planted and they are those who have built an investment strategy around the spiritual concepts in their life. They spend time in the Word, learning the heart of the Lord. They spend time in prayer, seeking His face, learning to hear the still, small voice of the Holy Spirit. This is truly the most important investment strategy that you will make in your whole life because it will affect you for the rest of your life and for the rest of eternity. This is an eternal concept. Make no mistake, we are saved by grace lest any man should boast. But your rewards and position in heaven come from what you do, what you produce, your investment strategy in the things of God. So not only will it make a huge difference in your eternal future, but it will strengthen and protect you as you walk through some of the thorny fields that can be in this life as well. May the Lord bless you as you think about this word, as you revamp your schedule, your time, your priorities. Putting Him first, time with Him first. And oh my goodness, I can't wait for you to see the crop it will produce for you. Blessings.